Okay, let's move to the next one. This is getting awkward. Um, Paul, how do you tell someone they have bad breath? Oh man, see, I'm not really good at being like, I'm not really good at doing that to do you somebody. Hate bad news? Do you hate delivering it? Yeah, um, yeah, like what I do is there was somebody that used to come to the stand a lot, the first stand. Mm-hmm. And I'm obviously not going to use names, but the breath was a big, big fucking problem. Okay. I mean, I mean, a problem to the point where it was like a medical condition. This was like, this was beyond bad breath. Like this, this kid needed surgery. Was it and garlic, Paul? What did it smell like? No, no, it wasn't Our garlic. It this, was is like, a, this is a high sensory podcast. This is, this is no, this wasn't like, I could deal with somebody if they're like, have Italian food, pepperoni or, or garlic breath. I could, that's fine. They ate something, whatever I'm talking. This was like a medical. And all I did was I just kind of, just kind of moved away. You know, when you just like, I just kind of got out of the vicinity of the fucking grossness. Cause I wanted to puke. Yeah. And I just, and what it told me was me and, and I'm not even trying to be fun. It really told me that me and this person will never be friends. We could never be friends. We could never be in the same car. We could never be close uh, in close quarters. So it's basically going to be a hello, goodbye. And now I'm distanced. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the first social distance before COVID. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was the first, like, like bad breath is literally the first social distance. That's really true. It's tiny vapors of a different kind. You know what? You guys could use that for a clip too. Cause that that's was another one. That I is mean, that's, that's another one, you know, that's I mean, I've given you, I've given two in 20 minutes. I mean, that's what you get when you come and investigate Mr. Verzi. You're spinning gold. You're spinning gold, and I'm glad we're getting into it. Well, you're, I'm spinning gold, and I'm investing in it. And you're investing in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're spinning Bitcoin. I'm spinning Bitcoin, yes. Um, Paul, you didn't answer the question, though. It was a good dodge. It was a I good can't, dodge. I can't what give somebody What did it the, smell like, Paul? It, it, what did it smell like? Bad breath. It smelled like bad breath. Like it Garbage, smelled- sewage? Sewage? What? Give us our fans need um, rubber meets the road analogies, Paul. This isn't. I can't let you out of the question. I've tried. I've tried to get this smell out of my life and out of my memory, but it wasn't a food smell. It was a bad breath, like morning breath, just fucking uh, awful breath smell. And what do you say to a guy? Do you tap yeah. a guy on his shoulder and go, "Hey, dude, I got to be honest with you, man. Talking to you, being around you, make me want to throw up." I can't. That's not. I'm not built that way. I'm just. The, I'm the. I'll talk about it on a podcast years later and just never be friends with that person. But it's not. But Paul, it's not helping that guy. To that guy, it doesn't help him. Like a lot of times, maybe we did. We don't know that we had bad breath. I'm just going to ask a question. Was it? Was it me? No. Okay. It was not you. Let me take a beat. <laughs> I took a beat. I thought it was me. It was um, not you. Because I had bad breath one time, and uh, my friend of mine, uh, he he pulled me aside and he go he puts some gum in my hand and he goes, take some gum. He goes, you're my boy. He goes, you're my boy. Take some gum. I don't want you walking around this way. I didn't even know what he meant at first. Then yeah. it hit me. I didn't eat anything. I haven't eaten anything all day, and that's what it was. But he goes, you're my boy. I don't want you walking around this way. And he put, he didn't say it. He's put the gum in my hand and then he clenched my fist. So that's that a good I was friend. holding onto the gum. That's, that's a good friend. Now, listen, I think if you're good friends with somebody, yeah, you know, like if me and you hanging out at Skank Fest, me and you, we don't hang out all the time, but me and you have been friends in the game for a long time. If right. me and you were hanging out at Skank Fest and you came, something came a little funky, I would be like, I would be like, hey, dude, are you, did you eat some, just so you know, just, I don't want you to go into other venues tonight. Right. And have that be happy. I don't want them saying that about you. But if you're not really close with somebody, do you, isn't it on them? It's like, it's their life. I mean, what am I going to do? That's true. It's an awkward thing to broach, you know, but if somebody's constantly getting in your face, you got to go, Hey, my friend, look, I love you. Maybe that helps. If you tell him, look, I love you. You you know, you got to do that. Here's the thing. I didn't love him. Yeah. Look, I don't love you and no one else will. If we don't do something about this breath. I don't know who loves you, but you're going to change that if you fucking. <laughs> Shannon, chime in here, Shannon. What do you I, do? I am 
like also really bad at something like this. I think it's similar to what Paul said, where I just kind of try to evade the situation because I guess the only other thing you could do is offer a piece of gum or something. But a lot of people, when you offer them gum, they're like, oh, why does my breath smell? And then you have to either tell the truth to be like, no, I'm just offering. It's just uncomfortable all around. So I, I avoid it. What about if it's a good night kiss? Oh, my God. I've never been in that situation. Yeah. I don't know. I, because I guess then you just like keep your mouth closed, just tap kiss and then leave and never see them again. Yeah. Yeah. Any well, kind of the whole person away, Shannon, because they have bad breath one night. It, how far into the relationship yeah. are we? Yeah, she's right. I got to give it to her. She's really? right. Really? Yeah. Paul? Yeah. Because here's the deal, man. Any kind of odors, any kind of odors or smells in a relationship early, A, it's such a turnoff and it's like, it, it, it's, and you also got to know, Mike, like if you're in an early date, you got to be on your fucking car's got to be clean. You got to scrub yourself all over. The, the, the breath has got to be good. You got to trim up. You got to look good. So if somebody's not doing that early, what does that tell you for later? That's a, that's a, that's a red flag if I've ever seen one, man. That's a wrap. For me, to be honest with you, for me, it's a wrap. For me, it's a fucking wrap. You smell on the first, your breath smells and shit around. It's just a wrap for me. You think something it's chronic that they have or they don't care about themselves enough on, on the first date that it, they're really going to let themselves go. If, if you're like, if there's a funky odor on date one, two, or three, what's it going to be like uh, two months into this thing? Yeah. What kind of house are you living in? What kind of animal am I dating? What kind of animal <laughs> am I around right now? We just made a huge jump, Paul. We just made a huge <laughs> jump from, from person to now an animal. <laughs> I love it. No, I love where we went with it. Yeah. Well, you know, and, uh, a lot of our fans need to take uh, take a listen to this because Paul's talking about a thing I've been harping on for years now. Hygiene. Check up on your hygiene. And it doesn't have to be a first date for you to brush your teeth. You guys should be doing it every day. <laughs> Absolutely. Every day. And then you sing the happy birthday song while you're brushing it. Yep. Great input, Paul. Guys, thank you for listening to Mike Vecchione Investigates. And if you go to gasdigitalnetwork.com and use promo code MBI, you will get one week free. That's gasdigitalnetwork.com, promo code MBI, you will get one week free. Thank you again for listening to Mike Vecchione Investigates on the Gas Digital Network.